Welcome to the No Fun Channel. I'm Felix. I got a chance to sit down and watch Bubblegum Crisis. It's an old anime. The main reason I watched it is because I remember it from being young and it being on TV. And I never got a chance to sit down and watch a whole episode. It seemed like something always happened to where I would have to leave and couldn't finish an episode. And so many things I quickly discovered is that this show is definitely a product of its time. Uh, the artwork though is really good i did like the artwork i would notice the buildings in the background and things like that it reminded me of cowboy bebop or outlaw stars artwork i don't know if the same studios worked on both but it was definitely good now the overall show i'm not gonna say it's good it was interesting <laughs> the show premise is basically a daughter get trying to get revenge for her father's murder but there were times where they would be in situations and it was like they were having them be weak females, even though they're the heroes. So it, definitely a product of his time. Celia, Pris, Lena, and Nene are the main character. They're the heroes of the show. And Pris, she gave off the energy of that she should have been gay. And it sometimes it seemed like they were hinting at it, but they never went, at least not in the anime, they never followed up on it. And for some reason, I remember her being gay, but maybe it's just because of the way they presented it is why I remember that way. But yeah, like I said, it's not a great show and it's definitely a product of its time. If you get a chance to check it out, you can check it out for the artwork because I really did like the artwork. And there was a follow up to it called Bubblegum Crash, which, which is also on Peacock. Now on Peacock, Bubblegum Crisis is the dub version. Bubblegum Crash is the sub version. Uh, I did start to watch Bubblegum Crash, but I think after watching the first one, I kind of lost interest, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm going to go back and finish it. If I do, I'll let you guys know. But overall, it's interesting. I mean, the premise is a daughter trying to get revenge for her dad's death, which is nothing new. It, it just, I don't know what they were trying to do with the anime, especially with eight episodes. This, they never really touched on that, to be honest with you, her going for revenge. It, each episode, it felt like they were trying to connect them, but they felt disconnected. And they were their own little stories, which didn't make any sense, to be honest with you. Maybe that's one of the reasons I, I kind of didn't like it. I, I finished it because, like I said, it's only eight episodes. Would I go back and watch it again? No, I I, I got my nostalgia out of it, so I'm good. Uh, Bubblegum Crisis on Peacock. That's my take. You guys have a nice day.